Boston priest molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. We haven't committed any long-term investigative resources to the case. No, we haven't. And that's the kind of thing your team would do. Spotlight. Guys, listen. Everybody's going to be interested in this. You go out the script. With what emotion did you write it? Um, I think at times we tried to check our emotion a little bit. Uh, like the reporters, we started living with this story so long, we were just trying to get to the facts and try to tell the story as honestly as possible. I mean, I think that was the balancing act of the, both the screenplay and the film is the intellectual uh, property of it, right? Like, there's so much information. It's such an information-driven script. But ultimately, what's the emotional value and how do, we, how do we keep that alive? And specifically because we were more focused on the reporters than we were the survivors and victims. Um, so there was a constant balancing act. But of course, the more we learned about this, <laughs> uh, just uh, it's really difficult not to be very upset by it. Uh, and, and upsets the only, there's so many other anger and frustration and disbelief and shock and disgust. Um, it just uh, it can prove very, very upsetting. The more stories we heard, the more people we've talked to. Spotlight. This is the tip line. You think he's got something? I want to keep digging. We need to focus on the institution. Show me that it came from the top down. Don't try to silence anyone who speaks out. You leave me alone, you hear me, God damn it? Six percent act out sexually. Six percent is 90. 90 priests. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. And did you ask your actors to do specific research? I didn't have to ask them. <laughs> They're a pretty experienced lot, this group of actors. And I think as soon as they signed on, they knew what type of movie they were making. And it's not, they don't get rich on these kind of movies. And they do it because they care about the material and they, they connected with the characters of the story. And uh, they dug in. Before I knew it, on their own, they were, they were in Boston with the reporters, following them, talking to them, communicating, doing their own research. By the time we sat down from rehearsal, these guys were all pretty well uh, educated on the investigation, on the parameters of the story, and uh, certainly on the, uh, the, the, the uh, reporters they were playing. I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. Do you think your paper has the resources to take that on? I do. Do you? How do you <laughs> approach someone who's real? Is it, is it awkward for you, maybe? Um, no, because I... Because it's my questions that are leading it, you know? It, it's, it's my interest in them, really. And so I, I always feel like I'm after something. I don't know what it is. It's, it's essentially, like, who they are. What makes them tick? What 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 their beliefs are? Um, and so, people like when you shine that kind of a light on them in a in an open way, in a in a loving way or a kind way, they generally will get over their fears. Fears, <laughs> yeah. yeah, their defenses in time. You might have to have some drinks and some meals. Usually, it's drinks and meals that you that people begin to open up, but. Uh, I try to impress upon them that I'm actually there to honor them. That I, that I, that I, my job is to, is to, is to be as honest about them as possible, and for them to give me their story. Obviously, the church will fight us very hard. I'm trying to get some background information. I don't want you recording this in any way, shape, or form. Nothing. We understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. When you're a poor kid from a poor family, and when a priest pays attention to you, it's a big deal. How do you say no to God? In the end, is it easier or more difficult to play someone that's real? Um, I think it's, it's more difficult, but in surprising ways. Um, you have all of this information that you get for free, you know, uh, that, that you don't have to fabricate, right? And that's good. Um, and it's always much more interesting, I find, than what I could come up with my own imagination. It's always stranger than fiction, you know? Um, but then there's always this, there's always a mystery, there's always a part of it that is like surprising, that you wouldn't, that you just wouldn't think of, whether it's the way they, they move or the haircut they have or, you know, you, you get one idea and it's usually a cliche is your first idea when you're working on a part. Hopefully you can get past that to make it interesting. But then once you get all of that information and you put it on you and you put it inside of you, you gotta like throw it away. 
because otherwise you're just playing an imitation and it loses the spark of spontaneity, of discovery, of mystery. And But having the real one, having seen and spoken to the real one, must be difficult to put it all aside. It is. And that's the, that's the difficult part of playing the real person. <laughs>